Find a Lebanese family and a friend down. Then Satan said I should lock up the closing time. Then Satan said I should love <laughs> boys in the hood are always hard. Come talking that trash, oh boy. And then Satan said I should loan them some books by Graham Greene. And I was like, Satan, my friend, what if this family doesn't like brown and green? And Satan screamed, I don't see how that could be possible. <laughs> no mortal beast could resist his lean prose. He's a wizard with the words and the champion. I fucking bow down before him and say, I say, hey, Grand Green, you are my And I asked him why so tearful And he replied I am pure, unfiltered evil There's more to me More to me than what you've seen I love poetry It make me cream of my So I've decided to stop worshipping Satan He's a weak little bitch who's obsessed with Graham Green. I decided to follow my own path I guess I decided to follow So the best part. <laughs> Not many musicians take that path, and that's why we love your unorthodox style. Uh, yeah, I've been doing it since I was a fucking oh little boy. Fuck yeah. I used to wear a cow suit. Do you know stage. that microphone's not working? It's not on. It's not on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Pat, <laughs> right. your part's over now. The show started. Pat uh, Reagan, everybody. Follow him on Twitter. Josh Martin, uh, the runaround uh, 
guy that's in charge of setting up sound and checking and seeing if things are proper before the show is right here, everybody. This little hipster uh, looks like an emoticon for allergies. <laughs> Is it good now, Pat? Yeah. I'm Can we hear you? Fuck oh, yeah. A little something for you podcast listeners. The great Pat Reagan. Brian Redband. What's up? How's it going? Good. We're going to be in uh, Phoenix, Arizona this month. Yeah. Woo! September 17th. Yeah. So for you podcast listeners and you wacky periscopers and all that magic, if you live near Phoenix, buy tickets for those shows. How about that? Yeah. Do that. And then also buy tickets for Toronto. I'll be there, JFL 42, I'm headlining shows, some of them have already sold out, so you better buy tickets. And, uh, and I'm doing Portland, uh, and, at the end of October, creepy weekend, 23rd to 24th. This Wednesday also, we're both on the Death Squad Secret Show here in the main yeah. room. Yeah, yeah. Woo, you see us do stand up, yeah. fucking murder. Jim Florentine, Ben Glebe, we have a bunch of uh, comics on the show, so. Nice. Oh yeah, Wednesday. I'm on it too. Tony, how was Chappelle's thing on Thursday? It was amazing. It was incredible. I opened up for a guy named Dave Chappelle, everybody. Come on. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, Daisy. Which reminds me, I'm also performing in amphitheaters at Oddball. I'm on the Oddball Comedy Fest this year, so I'm doing amphitheaters. October 4th and 5th, Atlanta and Tampa. Amphitheaters. You guys know what that's like. You can relate to me on that. Anyway, I'm... Uh, the great Ryan J. E. Belt, house artist, is right here, everybody. Right now, he's got a blank sheet of paper in front of him. What you're going to see is, by the end of the episode, he draws the episode. He draws the guests, a thematic type of wacky thing. Ryan J. E. Belt's amazing. Yeah, check out his Instagram. He has all the past ones. On I'm there. waiting for him to just draw, like, a fruit bowl one episode. It's a still life painting. Okay, he's got the duck sound effect. Yeah, Who needs that. attention? Who's getting kicked out? Is that you, Dom? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're the only one. You're the only one with sound up here. Ladies and gentlemen, no further ado, let's get the show started. Your guest tonight, one of our favorites, and one of our favorites, Dom Irera and Willie Hunt. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. I like it like this. I used to be here at the Plugathon. I gotta tell you, I uh, is your mic not on either? Yeah, it's on. I, I, on. This is Hello. so good for a live show and a just podcast. Just the... Is that working? Is it working? It's working. Seems like it's yeah. working. Willie, is yours working? I think it is. Yeah. All right. So I guess anyway, so. I'll be in uh, Fort Lauderdale at the Seminole Hard Rock next week. And then I'll be in the governor's at, oh, I'm fucking with you. I, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get our plugs in. Amphitheater? That's fucking horrible. I know, right? Ne never do comedy when you can see the sky. <laughs> it's true. It's terrible. Anyway, that was Chappelle. It was amazing. It was amazing. Was he in a good mood? He was great. He yeah. was very creative and unorthodox. You ever work with Dave? Well, in the, in the cellar in New York. Yeah. Not in a, not in a real gig. Dom Irera is here, everybody. Yeah. Um, and also, the great Willie Hunter. Can I say something? Yeah. I had that same ringtone. Yeah. And I thought it was my phone. I'm like, no, it's not me. And I was standing right beside you. He's like, oh, who is that? Who's doing this? Look, yeah, what are you guys trying to book an Aflac commercial yeah, we or something? Were, yeah. <laughs> Whacking around. <laughs> I love it. What made you choose you that as your phone maybe, ringer? I don't know, but you knew it was me because who, what other one is so retarded they couldn't turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> Hear it in my pocket. I gotta, I gotta adopt a little Chinese girl to walk around with me. <laughs> what? Now, every week, uh, to let uh, people know a little bit more about our guests, I always give Pat Reagan the opportunity to ask a question that he would like to ask. <laughs> so, uh, Pat, what are you gonna do this week? All right, well, I got a question for Dom. Uh, what's your take on all the allegations against Martin Lawrence? I mean, 53 women. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, they, they raped him? <laughs> Boom. Nailed it. That's it. That's all I got. What's the question? I'm going to tell you. It's funny. Yeah. The first time Cosby raped me, I was. I remember. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but you got to learn to breathe when you're getting raped. It's always important to stretch. It's always important to stretch. <laughs> What's your question for Willie? And he let you stretch before he knocked out. You know, the cause, I, I couldn't come until he did the Fat Albert voice. <laughs> 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 
this is, this is so hard. It's just like, <laughs> uh, Pat, what's your question for Willie? Willie, what's going on with the Carmichael show? Is season two happening? Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, but thank thank you everyone for the positive feedback for the show, man. It's, uh, By the way, Willie Hunter, young Willie Hunter here, is the creator and writer of an shorts. NBC comedy show, ladies and gentlemen, the Carmichael oh, Show, every Wednesday at 9 p.m. What a dream! And just think I was the Patriot. It is so hard to get a creator credit. You got it. Craig right? Robinson is terrific on that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Craig Robinson plays Gerard Carmichael, and uh, it's an awesome, awesome. Show. You guys have both been on the show before. You guys know what happens. Comedians come up, they do 60 seconds. We talk to them about anything. Maybe we just ask them questions, try to find out something else funny about them. Maybe we add on to their jokes. Maybe we just talk about what they look like. Anything can happen. Are you guys ready for this shit? Over 40 comedians signed up tonight for the opportunity of 40 to be pulled out of a bucket. And when I say their name, they come up here and they do 60 seconds. Comedians, you know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. It's adorable. That means wrap it up then, or else you're gonna bring out the angry. Is that a stroke? I think I did. The angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that noise, so don't run your time. Are you guys ready? Your first comedian tonight going on stage. Pat, how do you feel? I feel good, man. I'm sweating. Sweating out all the toxins. Why? Oh, right. What happened? Or just some living a filthy life right now. Oh, fuck yeah. And that was just your shitty questions from earlier for the guests. Hey, man. I stand by that question. They were well that out. Martin they Lawrence were question. Well. I think the audience... You, you know how you turn on the audience sometimes? Fuck you, audience. That Martin Lawrence question is funny. I mistook Martin Lawrence for Bill Cosby. I mean, 53 women? Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I, now that I think of it, it's hilarious. <laughs> I have to think of it. When you hear the explanation, it's always better. Yeah. Uh, your first comedian doing an uninterrupted 60 seconds this evening goes by the name of Mark Conley. <laughs> You know what that means. Spot, so that means he gets. Yeah, he's banned from the club forever now. That's how. Oh it my god. god. It no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, I pulled the name out of the bucket. Casey Moran. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so apparently Dr. Dre used to physically abuse his former girlfriends during his NWA days. And he hasn't denied it. Talk about beats by Dre, huh? Yeah, I'm coming out swinging. I'm swinging like Ray Rice in an elevator. You know, I've watched that video a bunch of times and I realized that there's no audio. And my thought was maybe there was elevator music. And I think the song that he performed, or that was going on during the incident, was LL Cool J's Mama Said Knock You Out. In which case, I'm not saying it's okay to punch a woman. But I am saying it's also not okay to say no to your mom. So I'm hooking up with a girl from a depression support group. And she said she's crazy in the head, crazy in bed. She's lying. She's actually lazy in bed, but she's still crazy in the head. But every time I'm doing it, I think to myself, how the fuck does Bill Cosby enjoy this? <laughs> All right, that does it for me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hi, Casey. Welcome to the show. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm terrible, I know. I'm how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, less than a year. And you know how long you've done it when you've counted how many spots you've done? Like, you how many spots have you done? Like, 17. 17. Oh, oh 17? I'm In a year? Down. No, to, yeah, to, well, because I started and then I stopped, and now I'm, I'm starting to do it again. When you say spots, do you mean the comedy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Dom. <laughs> great Dom Irera. <laughs> Jumping deep. <laughs> well, at least you have material. Right. No, it's true. Uh, Casey, did you notice that you left the mic stand in front of you and then moved back? And then, I, I and did. Then, I was super then, nervous. You know, you know what else you forgot to do? Inhale. 
at some point during that. It was really interesting. Like you just kept running out of air. I don't know if you have like gills or something like that, but it wasn't through your nose or your mouth. I've never really quite seen anything like it before. What were you breathing out of? I'm so out of shape. I had to run from there to there. It's terrible. I got nothing. You no excuse on that. I'm sorry. Why don't you talk about that? I could have. I just wanted to go through the material I performed. But I, like in my head, I thought I was going to do a lot better than I did, and I did. I honestly didn't think I was going to get called. So I don't know. I gave it my best. You have your material kind of written out, don't you? Yeah. You absolutely. need to get away from that because that was what was so obvious. That you were pretty much acting out your comedy. Yeah, it seemed of like you were trying material. to remember what you talked about. Did you get a little stone before this? No, I don't smoke at all. Really? Your eyes are always that way? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't breathe, I didn't breathe at all. Right, that's true. That's just yeah. oxygen deprivation. Right there. <laughs> that's what happens when you get choked out. Your eyes get all red. Have you you guys know you creepy fucks. I know you're it's a creepy audience. I can tell a lot of fucking like murder documentary watchers in here. Everybody's seen the jinx in this room. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, you. One, of the, one of the biggest things is I used to do that too. I used to have all my material and I had like a story that I made out of all my material and I would just repeat that story after, you know, every mic. That's the biggest thing. You can tell when you do that, you know, because it's like you're acting out. You're not really, ta you're talking. You're not talking. What do you do for work? Kind of... I work on TV uh, for a horse racing network. It's <laughs> <laughs> your biggest oh, laugh on I know, I also work in radio too. What's it like on the horse racing network? What do you do specifically there? I just do there? production assistant work. So what do you end up doing? A lot of nothing. And just, today I, I had nothing really to do. I just log a bunch of races and get killed a couple everyone. horses. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're on your way to being a comedian. You do a lot of nothing. That's us. Yeah. That's why we live the life. Yeah. I'm a big fan of all you guys, so thank you so much for, you. for letting Aww. me do this. this is oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. the biggest act here, and then the other guys are... <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been working on a horse racing network? Uh, about a year now. It's uh, it's all right. It's whatever. I'm just trying to do more comedy as much as I can. I just live in Simi Valley, so I don't get a chance to to really do it a whole lot. Oh, Simi Valley. Yeah. Yeah. All the Yikes. It's like the top of the GTA map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always scary. I only fly helicopters over it. Yeah. I never actually get off my dirt bike. Oh, steal a jet. Do you have like any like other type of material besides hitting women? <laughs> uh, I do. You know, the thing is, is I do more stories and it takes longer to get to the punchline. Yeah. And I just wanted to. I love the segue when he said, "So I was, what, I was fucking this girl after he did all this oh, hitting women." Yeah. I, <laughs> I, well, I just wanted to get three jokes that were about twenty seconds each and I can get them all and I did I go over I wasn't sure no. I didn't hear the okay no okay well I just wasn't I'm, I'm not used to doing a very that interesting minute. thing guys for anybody who gets called up here or is ever doing comedy of any kind is n you shouldn't rush the way that you talk based on the time of your set or else people would just be doing their half hours on Johnny Carson and like it's like you can't just rush material to make to get more laughs, we have to be able to understand what you're saying, and you have to have punchlines, which is very important. I mean, Casey's not a good example. But, like I'm talking about, like, all right, forget it. Casey has literal. <laughs> you just yeah. need more stage time. Seventeen times yeah. in one year is yeah. way too little. If you really want to be a comic, you need to at least do it twice, three times a week at least. Uh, right. So you either decide to do it or just continue to, whatever you know. <laughs> in other words, your setups are great. Your punchlines need work. Okay, cool. Thank you, you so much. Your, your punching also needs work. I noticed you said you took a swing and it was like this weird, like hook swing. You said you said you said like, oh, I came out punching like Ray Rice. Like, no, you came out punching like someone with Down syndrome. <laughs> Sorry, low blow. I know it's a low blow. No, it's good. I the elevator it. thing. I, when you said the music would be on the elevator, I just expected something so hilarious, and it was kind of. I thought it was like factual. Yeah. yeah. How far away is Simi Valley from here? That's about half an hour from here. Oh, with no traffic. A lot of cars. North. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. You, have you ever, have you ever, uh, have you ever Googled uh, Simi Valley, how it's like radioactive, like you shouldn't be living there and all your kids are going to be like autistic with one nipple? So, so like, I don't know. Your kids are going to punch even worse than yeah. you. <laughs> there was actually a big like explosion there and it was like, you're not supposed to live there. It's like 
large amounts of nuclear radiation. Are you sure you didn't watch an episode of The Simpsons? No. It's like Rocket Dine or something like that, I think. Rocket Dine? Yeah. 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 yeah, I did hear about it, but yeah. I'm obviously still there, so I didn't really listen to it too much. Casey, if you want to do comedy, keep going on stage more often. You're averaging like a spot and a half per month. Right. So get out there and do it. Okay, cool. Like Thank Casey. you guys so much. Casey Moran, everybody. Yeah. Getting us next started with a little, uh, little poetry. Sometimes it's good. Yeah, Simic Valley was the site of the worst nuclear disaster in U.S. history in 1959. True. That's why if you live in Simic Valley, you have sets like that. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. wow. Awesome. Jeez, oh man. Well, I guess it does make sense. <laughs> nuclear disaster. Uh, put your hands together for your next comedian, Heather Marnelli. <laughs> Guys, I'm uh, sexually active. Surprise. Um, the uh, <laughs> the worst thing about being having sex in LA is that guys always want to tell you how freaky they are in bed. They want to prove that to you immediately. They're like, "Girl, I'm a freak. I'm gonna turn you out. I'm a real freak." And then the first thing they they bring up is choking. Like that's what they're they're like. You want to get choked? You want to choke me? No, I don't want to choke you. I don't want to get choked. Kids are doing, like, that's like a child's game, too. Like, the choking game, it's not really that freaky. Like, real freaky things, like, that, that's like a real mild thing in sexual adventure, okay? Because, like, in my personal experience, the freakiest thing I've ever seen in my circulation, okay, more than one guy, thank you, is uh, <laughs> a guy who lays on top of me. And he holds my eyes open really wide while we're doing it. And I'm, and I'm like, what is happening? What is this? What did I do to deserve this? And that's a true freak. <laughs> that's a true freak, guys. Fuck yeah, Heather. Marnelli, am I saying that right? Oh, it's, it's Maruli. Maruli. No, it's my handwriting, sorry. Fuck yeah, I love your style. Great oh, stuff. Thank you. I especially love you as the band leader of Alabama Shakes. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing that you could do that and come up here and crush for a minute Thank real quick. She's very talented. Yeah. Thank you. She is. She reacts the audience by smiling. Yeah. You know, like even if you're nervous, you're going back and forth. But I expected a punchline on the, uh, the, the first joke thing. Yeah, no, I like, I, you know what, I, I should have sat closer. I mean, I like... <laughs> you know, like right there, there was a hole for a joke. You said, uh, mm -hmm. you like getting choked and you would go, can I finish my salad first? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. No, I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, I, like I, I just haven't like the first part of the joke. Like I haven't really figured out, but like the last part. I, I like like yeah. the setup. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. We went right to the punchline. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I I've never really understood the choking thing either. I know Pat, you're a really crazy one in bed. You uh, don't know that. You don't know that, Tony. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're Mr. Missionary position. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, nobody brings three guitars uh, to do a show like this and doesn't have extra moves in the bedroom. Um, well, what do you? I mean, are you in a pee pee poo poo? Like, <laughs> oh my God! Wow. I'm so, not. He goes straight for third base, I guess. Uh, Lactation. Get the choking thing is crazy, it. man. I hate well, the choking thing. It's weird when you yeah. you know a friend likes it though. Like uh, my friend Ari Shafir, he's into it. He'll just go up to girls and just start choking them before he even says hello. It's hilarious. But it's, it's called a felony. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, do you really have people always trying to choke you all the time? Um, actually, yeah, yesterday that happened. So. Yes, yesterday. yesterday? Yeah. White guys. I have a male. I, I have some companions. Okay. White guys. Yeah, I'm a savage. White the guys, black day. guys. Oh no, he's Latino. Uh, no, no, yeah. Black guys choke women. Black guys you just punch the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> In the back of the head. No bruise. No bruise. <laughs> Oh, How long have you been on stand-up? Two years. Where are you from? I'm originally from New York. I grew up in Colorado. How long have you been here? Uh, a little over two years, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you started stand-up in L.A.? I started in L.A. Yeah. What did you move to L.A. for? Uh, stand-up and writing and all kinds of stuff. Anything artistic. <laughs> like what, do you, what do you do for work? 
Oh, I work as a paralegal. Oh. Mm -hmm. At a law firm. Oh. <laughs> it's n I don't like it. It's for money. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was for fucking the fun. <laughs> yeah, that paralegal crazy Wolf of Wall Street life, right? Yeah, real crazy. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love that you decided to wear the Laugh Factory curtain here tonight. <laughs> uh, you know, really showing you know. that you're an all around fan of comedy. It's festive. <laughs> Like, it's a holiday. Not a lot of people have the balls to wear the Laugh Factory curtain to the comedy store because they're rival clubs. She's showing. That's like wearing all red to a crit party. You know what I'm saying, white people? <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. Interesting. What else, Heather? What other things do you talk about other than being choked? Uh, my crazy parents. Um, what nationality are you? Deaf. Oh, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm Italian, Czechoslovakian, Puerto Rican, and Cuban. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. I knew it. I told you. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're feisty, aren't you? Uh, some have said, yeah. How many holes have you put in somebody's wall before? Oh, no, I don't, I'm not really like a, a puncher of walls. I, I get really verbally violent with people. Oh. If I get really set off, but it takes me a lot. Have you ever, you seem like you might be capable of, if you yell out enough, breaking a wine glass. Uh, yeah, I, no, I've there's heard. There's something very, like, there's something very powerful and, like, Yeah, most people, you. most people say I'm pretty loud. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. You live in an apartment? <laughs> yeah, Tony. You're, you're, I live in an apartment. Yo, <laughs> yo, I just got Tony. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what kind of question was that, though? You live in an apartment? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm setting up for my next question there, uh, Maestro. Is it bottom floor, top floor? Is there a tree that I can look through the window? You son of a bitch. Yeah, trying to hear the next question. I'm trying to get at something here. You're like, uh, all right, forget it. Are you ticklish? Hey, your neighbors ever, you son of a bitch. What are we talking about? No ticklish references before nine. New rule. No? Yes. What, what, am I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're Tony. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate it. I you hate do? getting tickled. Yeah. Really? I hate it. Super ticklish. Yeah, like I'll I'll punch somebody in the face. Oh, see, <laughs> I don't like I don't oh, like it at all. That makes yeah. it tempting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a question. What's the smallest guy you've ever had sex with? Oh, you mean like height wise? Height wise, weight wise. I I dated a guy who was five six for like a year. He's only five six. Uh, yeah, he's only, only five six for a year. No. <laughs> 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 we, we, dated, we dated for a year. Wow, five foot six. So what yeah. you, you just like used him as a dildo, right? No. No, it's like it's all the same when you're lying down. It's okay. Oh wow. It is. Like, it's all the same yeah, when you're yeah, lying down. Like, like I'm sure pe tall people in here have had sex with smaller people. It's like you're you're horizontal. It doesn't matter. This is all shit you should be talking about. Okay, I, being sexually I'll, active and being, you know. No, I do talk a lot about that. Oh, yeah, that's great. of course. Have you ever been with women? women? No, no, I, I'm 99.99 percent straight. Like I, I have. What's that point nine? Yeah. Is it a finger? I know. I may. I, <laughs> no, I. <laughs> no, I. I made out. I made out with one of my girlfriends once. Oh. Some, it wasn't for me. Like girls are so soft, and like I like. You know, like stubble. Like I like guys. I like men. You know, yeah. big fan. Yeah. <laughs> this lonely Indian guy in the front is so crazy. <laughs> you only want to spot in that one. Go for it, buddy. Go get it. Um, if you want to talk about soft? You got to see my cock. Oh. <laughs> But tasty. Tasty. Yeah. Tasty. Now, we were talking to you being on earlier. Uh, have you ever gotten a complaint from your neighbors at your apartment? Uh, oh, from the uh, loud yeah, events? Anything. No. Really? No. I, I really try not to stay home ever. No, it's, I, no my place apartment? is it's in a bad neighborhood. It's in a Puerto Rican, Ukrainian, <laughs> no, it's, German, Czechoslovakian. It's not, it's not like that. It's mostly a, it's a Mexican it's neighborhood. Ooh. You don't have a pet. I live alone. That's how I'm able to afford to live alone, is by living 
in a subpar neighborhood. Yeah. I was just gonna see if you were gonna say Mexican neighborhood again. <laughs> no! <I'm> like... <laughs> It's like, I live in a terrible, terrible neighborhood. Hi, everybody, bye! And they're mad. Cleaning crew showed up early tonight, and uh, they're pissed. I speak Spanish, so... Right, Cuban and Puerto... Now, what's yeah. the split there? Who's... which? Uh, my is... mom is half Cuban, half Puerto Rican. My dad is half Italian, half Czech. Whoa. Oh. Ordo, How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have a, a younger sister, uh -huh. and then I have an older half-brother. And his dad was... Full Irish. Your mom is half Cuban, half, Puerto Rican. half yeah. Puerto Rican. Yeah. And she's only had two kids. <laughs> well, she's had three. She's had three. Oh, okay. Why do you gotta be such a bitch? I tried to interject a little comedy. <laughs> you should try it sometime, Pat. <laughs> 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 Uh, Heather, I had so much fun with you. I love your charisma and your Thank style. You. Willie, anything else for Heather? You got the mic up. What's going on? Uh, what are you no, thinking? No, I'm, I'm still thinking about the five foot six guy. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, did, he, did he ever try to choke you? Hip? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you put your neck down for him? How did that happen? No, out? it's right. like it's really. Yeah. Like, how did tall he, are did you? Did you do one of those extender arms where you saw <laughs> <saw> uh, <laughs> uh, It's up on your back. <laughs> Right, yeah, just rear naked choke, just all yeah. out rowdy, rowdy, hyper. De no, De Dexter bathtub. Let's do Dexter bathtub choke. You know, behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for, the, for those of you that have seen that one episode. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. So was he do was he dominant, submissive, like? No, he was. He was very masculine, dominant yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. This was years. This was like three years ago. I didn't care. What nationality was he? Oh, um, like Irish and German, whatever. Uh -huh. Like I, it's like Irish and German. It wasn't Irish and German. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your uh, what's your favorite type of guy? Like, uh, do you find yourself mostly dating white guys that are like uh, five no? Foot six? I just got out of a relationship with like a really narcissistic Latino guy oh. who just thought he was like the best person. Right. And he was like, no, not. He was like, oh, <laughs> you know. Interesting. Was he yeah. You see one of those uh, Mexicans? <laughs> was his name Jesus or No, Angel? it was actually, his name is Josue. All right. Oh, my yeah. God. I don't know. <laughs> and with that, before no, we all comic. get murdered, uh, <laughs> there's no way a guy named, what is it again? Josue. Oh, yeah. It's the Spanish He's got an AK-47, of... ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. How many teardrop tattoos? No, he has have? zero tattoos. Yeah. Oh, Sway's the name of my tattoo artist, no joke. Okay. <laughs> he literally said no joke and you lied. I mean, I... Now I see why they want to choke you. <laughs> no choke, no choke. Heather Marulli, everybody, here she goes. Follow her on Twitter at Fixed Air Heather. Fixed Air, A I R, Heather. All one word. And Casey Moran, by the way, the first comedian is Casey Moran 1. M O R A N 1. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. It's like a real show in here. <laughs> one more time for Heather Marulli, everybody. Pulled yeah. another name out of the bucket. This guy's name is Matthew Maloney. no one to give it to for free. So I decided if I'm going to die alone at the very least, I'm going to watch something else do the same. That's right. I've decided to get a pet. Well, what kind of pet? Well, I'm not going to get a dog because I don't need another reason to feel guilty about not going on walks. I'm afraid to get a cat because tragically feline addiction runs in my family. No, no, seriously, like every time I visit relatives, fucking cats everywhere. And whenever one dies, three more grow in its place. Fish aren't pets, barely decorations. And I'm actually not allowed to get any type of uh, bird or reptile because I don't now, 
nor have I ever worn a ponytail. <laughs> so that just leaves me with one logical option. I've decided to get a scorpion. And uh, I found this out recently. It's actually illegal to order scorpions through the mail. Thanks again, 9-11. So I had to drive 130 miles. And I got... Just keep going. Was that the end of it? Um, you had to drive 130 miles that way. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Um, it's got a scorpion, everybody. <laughs> For those of you that lost place, right? I was hoping to end with the 9-11 uh, the thing. and oh. there, there is more to that joke. It's like a 10-minute piece, but... Oh, okie okay, dokie. Okay. And uh, with that said, Matthew Maloney, everybody. Uh, Matthew, it's nice a to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about the time. Yeah. Matthew, uh, so nice to meet you. Hey, you, Tony, how you doing? Great. Uh, you have a, I, you, I mean, I really, really like you. I mean, you are by far the funniest giant seven-year-old I've ever seen. <laughs> entire life. Like, uh, of all the people that should be holding a giant baby rattle, you are the best. Uh, I really like you. You, you, you. I mean, you have real, you have real jokes. Like I love the thing about the dog. And how long have you been on stand up? Um, still in my first year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You have great stage presence for being only in a year. Did you do something before that you were on stage? Yeah, he grew to be six foot nine, <laughs> two hundred eighty pounds. Yeah, I would say that you're going to be you. <laughs> I'm way off. But thank you. <laughs> what happens when you weigh 120 pounds like that. <laughs> um, Brian, I, I did a lot of theater in high school um, oh, and, and did, got a lot of comedic roles and stuff like that and, and, and college. And dinner stuff. roles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you play? What are some of the parts you played in college? Some of the parts you played? Um, I don't know if you'd recognize. Oh, I, you know what? Fiddler I, breaking through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> We can't all look like you, man. I know, I love it. Yeah, yeah you, they can. You, I mean, Lord, Lord knows you can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you step on my line, but you crush me at the same time? Jesus, don't do both. Uh, Dom, I played um, Benjamin Braddock's dad in The um, the Graduate in high school, and I played uh, Caliban in um, The Tempest. So those are two of the roles I played. You might recognize me from the, my portrayal of the rabbi in Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> Maybe this is pretty familiar. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. What do you think? think good. <laughs> that was a lot like the Dexter choke out right there. Right? <laughs> There's one podcast listener in South Korea right now. Like, That's a good one. <laughs> he's right. He's right. They can't both be right. No, I, I think you yeah. are funny because you saw how, many, how I came to the stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but you bend over and almost kill a couple people <laughs> and show us your ass crack. It was amazing. Yeah. You did get up. You're the first butt crack yeah. I've ever seen yeah, yeah. on the show. <laughs> oh, the horse of truth. You saw that too? Yeah, you got up out of that chair there. And, uh, you know, sometimes even comedians can get plumbers crack. And it was very impressive. <laughs> Me, Willie, and Dom both noticed it. We couldn't believe it. That's what it takes to really... No, that's my opening. That's the ask. <laughs> no, really it's a Do you go out on a lot of auditions here now? No, no, I'm not. Um, I'm not doing auditions to be like a Hollywood actor, but uh, yeah. Are five foot six girls always trying to choke you? <laughs> no one's trying to choke me. Do you, do you know that other girl? You should grab that shit. <laughs> yeah, so take scary. her back to your crib and uh, <laughs> okay. uh, how, how, much, how many times a week you get up a, like a week? Um, I don't get on stage that often, but I go to open mics. I try to get up. Um, I do four open mics a week. We have to get you an audition for Orange Is the New Black. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> I'll take it. I'll be there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Matthew, I really, really like your style. Uh, how long have you been doing it again? Less than a year, but yeah, right? all in L.A.? Um, let's see, uh, mo mostly in L.A., um, a little bit in the Palm Desert area where I'm from, and um, I, I do a lot of stuff in Pasadena. I guess that's L.A., but the Ice House, I do the Ice House a lot. So you live out in the desert? Yeah. How does that affect you? 
it, it, it's hotter than most places, but I, I like it. It's fine. It's a weird place. A lot of weirdos, right? <laughs> no, Jesus. not by your standard. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, you just got burnt by your high school social studies teacher. <laughs> Matthew, I love your style. Anything else for many parting words from Matthew Malone? Uh, continue, man. You're funny. Just continue. Right, thank you very much. Yeah, just get on more, that's all. Get on, <laughs> yeah. get, get, get on five times a week. Yeah. I try. Thank that, you very much. That theater background really shows you're fun to watch. Matthew mm -hmm. Maloney, everybody. He's on Twitter. Matthew Maloney. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, how exciting. Oh, I love this. I always love one name people. You never know what you're going to get. Like Plato or Sharon? Yeah. Yeah, like this Socrates. One, this one is R A A B. So I'm going to guess it's Rob. <laughs> Uh, yes, my name is Rab. Uh, not like a rabbi. A lot of people think that. Um, but I am like a third Jew. I'm like the J of Jew, I'm not the E of Jew, <laughs> all right? Most Jewish thing about me is my nose, my beard, and how I won't pay for a Spotify account. <laughs> so, fuck, 99 cents for three months, fuck, I'll still shuffle, I don't care. Um, I'm the product of five dudes. Uh, I have my mom and five dads growing up. Uh, not all at the same time either though. My mom's not like a Mormon hoe with a starting lineup already. But uh, they last about four years of peace growing up. They're kind of like presidents that don't get reelected. So, she's actually ending her fifth marriage right now. Well, she's not, he is. Well, he's not, cancer is. So, but it's cool, because she can get back to the one true hobby she's been longing to do, and that's getting remarried. But if she goes for that sixth ring, guys, she'll have as many rings as Michael Jordan, and that's the champion of fucking marriage and divorcing. The surfer salute as the cat came in, knowing exactly that it was a minute. Uh, Toss down the gauntlet, like follow that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like he would drop the mic if he wasn't afraid it would break and he'd be charged for it. Uh, how's it going, Rab? It's going good. It, I like your style, man. You, you used to work at the Pink Dot, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you still work there? No. I love how you say that, like, no. no fucking way I'd ever... Not for that fucking Persian Jew, no. Wow! <laughs> oh, 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 he's a, he's a fucker. Wow. Lost. One in the pink, two in the stink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my God, there's some real anger down there at that uh, corner, huh? I think you left out bastard. You can't say Persian Jew without bastard. Oh. <laughs> bastard Persian Jew. Yeah. Can, me, can I hear you do that? The bastard Persian Jew? No, 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 no the bastard's oh. gonna be at the end. Oh, the Persian Jew bastard. There you go. <laughs> You're on your way to show business, pal. That's <laughs> <laughs> like alienating the Jews in Hollywood. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, how's stand-up been going? What's it been, like a couple years you've been doing it? Uh, just over two, yeah. Yeah. How's it going for you? It's been good. Um, the job, the daily job, uh, prevents me from doing it some nights, but try and get out as much as possible. Uh -huh. Yeah. Starting to get some shows here and there now. I don't do the networking thing, really. You don't? No. What do you mean? You don't talk to people? I don't suck dick to get ahead. That's like all it is. It's like, I don't suck dick to are get you, ahead. What are you implying that we do? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> do you really think that's what's happening? It's like this crazy Illuminati dick sucking thing? It, it's some like, kind of... Uh, and like the people at the top, like Louis, Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle, they're just glurping it all down. No, right no. There's a difference between them and then the people that are uh, working here, some of them. Ooh. Whoa, are you saying a shot? Wait a second. Wait a second. Holy before he's done anything. Wait, I'm guessing you're one of the guys that in the last two weeks showcased to be an employee here. Am I correct? Is that some of that? No, no. Do you want to work here? No. So then why are you hating on the employees of the comedy? Or are you talking it's about just the show? Some it's just some power, like, I had, like, head power shit, like, these people have, I feel like. Uh, Is someone treating you bad here? Uh, I, 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 I kind of get, like, a little, uh... You want to call them out right now? Yeah. No, 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 let's good. do it. It's a like, oh. yeah. You guys want it. Yeah. Oh. What's the truth? <laughs> no, you have to do it. Who are you upset with? Ah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put any oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna put any news out there. Come on. Nobody listens to this anyway, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> you're nah, real, nah. You know, 
It's cool. Like somebody fucking. Because it's, it's not really bothering me. It's just like. It's oh no, just, it is bothering. Yeah, me. yeah it is. Super <laughs> bothering. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not really bothering me. <laughs> you don't want to throw anybody Somebody under the bus. Out. Nah, yeah, that's cool. Why? Even though you look like a guy that would throw somebody under the bus. <laughs> like, literally. Um, <laughs> I look like I'd bomb them and then throw them under the bus. You look like, like, uh, somebody, like, when's Jackass 4 coming out? <laughs> you, look like, you look like Ryan Dunn got reincarnated and glued, and glued pubes to his face. <laughs> I get a lot of that, so it's fine. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What do you do for fun now? This. That's it. Where do, you, where do you mostly go up? Like, what's your home club if it's not this place? Um, I love trying to get up at the improv here. Um, I don't know, man. Just bounce around to the open mics, really. You have really good jokes, man. Like, yeah, you, it's, you. A, it's a shame that you hate somebody at the, the comedy store because yeah, we could know. work this shit out and yeah. you'd be happy. We were, we were going to get you in before you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was oh, an opening. But, Rap, it's not, it's not, I, I think that you're, uh, like, going the wrong way thinking that two years in that you're going to get traction. And, like, to be no, yeah, better, I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it takes it takes fucking years. No, I know, years I know. Just being out every single night. It's 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 the it's the the the, the different clicks. It's very high school clicky, and I feel yeah. like they don't think I'm funny. So it's like I'm don't get these shows, and I don't. Oh, you just can't find a click. Yeah, I, I'm my own click. I, uh, oh, this is I'm a little sad. I love it. And by the way, it's the second time that the alone Indian guy clapped. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you, you again. You want you want to be, am I <laughs> If my guy's defending everything lonely tonight, it's like the most beautiful thing. It's fucking terrific. You know, the comedy store is very high school clicky. Yeah. It's just because all of us hang out here every single I, I don't, night. I, you know, I, so if you come here once a week, it's, it is going to be like high school. Like, yeah. who's this guy? Is he going to kill us? Is he a comic? <laughs> Does he have a knife on him? Like, we have no idea who, you know, it's, it, so the only thing I could say is if you, if you think that, it's because it is. It really is a, a group of friends that hang out every and single day. you're going to get that anywhere. anywhere. Right? It's, a yeah. big, it's a big overhyped thing that the comedy store's clicky because all it is is a shit ton of comedians all thrown together in one crazy funhouse. So naturally, certain people are going to hang out. And people that are improv people and people that are alt people, they're just as clicky as anybody here. Oh, yeah. Big oh, time. Yeah. No, so I'm you're going to find groups of friends in any profession that you do. It's not it, labeling it. I'm trying to think, clicky. I'm trying to make it like high school. Where I just fit into everybody, but like it doesn't. What you might not know is there's people like, you know, Gerard Carmichael who get along with every click, like yeah. all the way through. And now every click high fives them as he goes by. And that's attainable. Yeah. yeah. So And then everyone else, every other comedian go enters a place and is like, fuck, everybody hates me. That's how I felt. That's how I feel all the time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Becoming extremely sad. <laughs> sad comedian. Wow. Yeah, I don't it's, feel like it's a mind fuck, me. man. Looks like you two are gonna have to go see Mumford and Sons. <laughs> this, this, this shit is a mind fuck. I know our friend right here will join you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Clappy Mc, what the fuck? Clappy McClapperson. Um. I just feedback more feedback. I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are getting this feedback. Part. The standout thing about your, uh, I mean, the jokes are fine. You have a great look, blah 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 blah. I mean, the the feedback's great, but the the fact that you have issues at a place like this, you know, and that's what you're talking about, and that sucking dick thing. That's just like that's cliche for people like us that have been doing it a longer time to hear from somebody that's been doing it less than three years and doesn't realize yet that it's not dick sucking and it's not kissing ass. It's you have to make friends. Well, yeah. Yeah. Also, you have to be so good they can't deny you. Instead, like channel yeah. that anger into into humor. Yeah. Channel channel all that because we all have fucking rage in us. Mm -hmm. Try to make those yeah. clicks that you don't think like you laugh at you, mm -hmm. and then you go on you stage. Win. You're so fucking good. Nobody can deny it. You know? Yeah. You and shave your beard. Respect. There he goes, everybody. Grab <laughs> yeah. everybody. That's how quick it happens. The Muslims yeah. like that joke in the middle of the room. Thank you for laughing. Beers. No way it's like spit it back in their face. <laughs> you spit you spit the jizz back in their face? Will you let the fucking joke go? <laughs> 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 
do my minutes, then you can ask me. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. It's Amory Lee. <laughs> Good one. I had faith in this one. You know what that means? Are you man? sure you're not in the room and you're just got gotten shy? Amory Lee. I feel like she's in this room. She must be taking a shit. Guys, you're next to me. Wait, you didn't do the sound effects, so she got banned. She got blacklisted. Make a noise. I think we should lose that tradition. I think they just get moved on. Oh. Uh Iffy Nawataway. So, uh, growing up, my dad always used to dress me up. Like, no matter where we're going, I'd always get dressed up. So, like, if it was a birthday party, I was in a suit. If it was a dinner party, I was in a suit. Slumber party, I was in a slip suit. <laughs> but I grew up in Compton, California, the hood. So it just always looked like I had a court date. So it was like, who is this thug-ass baby? <laughs> going everywhere. It was me. I was the thug baby. Uh, you know, racism's real big right now, you know? Uh, raise your hand if you're racist. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, but everything has a silver lining. Everything has a bright side, and I kind of figured it out. See, racism isn't that bad, see? Because racism creates racists, and then racists become racist dads. And racist dads have daughters who want to fuck black dudes, so... <laughs> when you really look at it, it's not that bad. <laughs> Man, that wasn't a minute, guys. Let's let's just wrap it up. That's perfect. 55 seconds. Of Iffy Nawataway. Am I saying it right? Nawataway? It's like the end is silent. This is your second time on the show, right? We've met you before. The luck of the bucket brings you back. Another funny minute. Last time was fun, too, right? Yeah, it was good. You are the buffest nerd I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like you just fucking lift weights and steal glasses from your grandma. <laughs> Incredible. You are ripped. Like some chick broke your heart and you just won't stop, or dude broke your heart and you just will not stop lifting weights. It's yeah, incredible. it was like the ad in the back of the comic where I was the nerd at the beach, got the sand kicked yeah. on me, and then I ordered the stuff and it worked. Fuck yeah. I love it. Where are you from? Uh, LA, LA native. From Compton. Compton, California, straight out of Compton. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know if it's really straight out of Compton on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you see? <laughs> really? The okay. kids were in, the kids were in gangs. He's taking piano lessons. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what you got more than anything? A likability. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so likability, and you can't buy that. You, you just you look like a guy that we want to hang with. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's a very cool thing in comedy. You, you can't. It's just part of you. So keep that going and then write some funny shit. Is <laughs> this on? Yeah. Oh, you used to bigger laughs. <laughs> yeah, uh, booty like J-Lo and glasses like Zsa Zsa Gabor. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, wow. wow. There's the half-court shot that Pat shoots. <laughs> <that's the episode. laughs> <laughs> yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> like that ball boy that gets stuck on the court when the team comes back down and gets like run over. <laughs> but sometimes he makes those deep three-pointers. Um, Iffy, that's such a cool name. Is that your real name? Uh, yeah, it's short for Iffy Shakude. Wow. Your parents hate you. Oh, oh wait, what that noise means. That's, uh, that's a blackest black eye of the night sound. Uh, <laughs> So what's your full name? Do you have a middle name in the middle uh, of it? Yeah, Ijeoma. Holy shit. Okay, can you say the whole thing? Yeah, Ifi Shikude Ijeoma Mwadiwe. Wow. Almost took up an entire 60 seconds just on the name. We almost heard the sound of a kitty there. Ifi, what do you do for work? Uh, right now I get uh, paid to play video games. Uh, I, nice. You know, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a host. Uh, <laughs> nerd. Yeah, I'm a host for Geek and Sundry on Twitch.tv, so uh, awesome. if you guys like watching people play video games, get up on that. Uh, what are you playing right now? Uh, right now we're playing Metal Gear Solid, The uh, Phantom yeah. Pain. That's uh, pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah. 
long ass yeah. cutscenes. Do, do you watch, do you watch that Red Band? People I like? watch it all the time. Like uh, to me, Twitch is my new falling to sleep. Like I'll just put on some video game. I don't even care a shit. Just listen to somebody play video games, fall asleep. And you just like shoot and kill people all around the world. Yeah. So that's your outlet for the natural you know, Compton side of things. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, that's what it, yeah, most people were actually doing it, and then GTA came out, and I was, like, playing, and I was like, oh, God, I'll just do it from the inside. You know, right. Tony, that comment was a little bit iffy. Oh, my God. Oh, there he goes. Now he's just throwing beach balls everywhere. <laughs> throwing beach balls on the basketball court. Stop the game. You're like a streaker. You're like a fully clothed Dude, streaker. Dude, I've, I've been getting naked on Eric Andre's show. Watch out for it, baby. <laughs> you know what that whistle means. Pat's gone over his word limit for the night, everybody. <laughs> this is the part where we put a red ball gag in Pat's mouth. <laughs> He's only had to speak through his guitar from this point on. No. Um, iffy. So, what, what, I just love saying I love name. that name. Yeah, it's great, Iffy. What do you like to do for fun other than play video games? You know, comedy. That's a, like, since I comedy? do... Com com comedy? Comedy. And comedy, yeah. you know. We all masturbate before we write, right? right. Uh, yeah, so then... But, like, uh, yeah, since I do improv, sketch, and stand-up, you know, lots of comedy to keep me busy. You're so likable. Again, another guy, you like, are you, are you getting auditions or anything? You have... uh, yeah, I was in Comedy Bang Bang and uh, Key and Peele. Oh, nice. oh, yeah. You're going to be great. It's done. All right. I love the idea of the height of laziness is to watch somebody play video games. <laughs> yeah, it really is. How lazy can you get? That's it. Tom, I'm right with you, man. I don't know what this fucking world is coming to. <laughs> it's, it's You're over the limit, pal. <laughs> uh, Iffy, anything else? Willie, you got anything for Iffy? Willie, I think wi Willie at one point whispered in my ear during your set that he's going to cast you in the Carmichael show. So. <laughs> No pressure, Willie, but anything you want to say to Iffy? He could play a little real stand in, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, you could be. You seem like you had very good parents. Did you uh, were they together the whole time dude? Nope, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh, my dad got remarried. Uh, he's from Nigeria. My mom didn't. She's from Louisiana. Uh, and you know, two presents for Christmas. That's the way I look. always look at the bright side, you know? Two yeah, parents. Was it was a new mom, lighter skin? Uh, yeah, it was like it was like yeah, fresh print. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you woke up one day and was like, I got a light skin mom now. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. That's why he writes on the Carmichael show right there. there uh, look out for a fresh prince reference coming next week on NBC. I think it's so cool that you look at it that way so positively, the two two Christmas presents, two presents that as opposed to the fact that two people didn't love you enough to stay together. <laughs> I've been getting these emails from your dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I will never be able to have a rich uncle wanting to send me money. It's that's, always going to spam. I think that's what I said last time he was on the show. Yeah, oh. yeah. Pat, way to go. <laughs> fat oh. Jew. Fat he Jew. Ran out, he I ran fucking out. own the Fat Jew shit. You can find me on Twitter. My name is Fat Jew on Twitter. <laughs> but it's not really Fat Jew. It's at Patty Reagan. Yeah, but, but my name is Fat Jew. Right. Mm -hmm. I was going to change it to Doc McStuffins. It's on Disney XD. It's an animated show. All right, maybe if we just cut the mic wire. Uh, maybe, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Oh, jeez. even part of the show. Oh, man. Not me. I actually jumped at dumb jumping. I'm like, what the fuck is dumb jumping? <laughs> You've seen so many great comedians have the shit scared out of them by that sound effect for the last few months. It's really impressive. Um, Iffy, I noticed you didn't even flinch at that gunshot. Is that, is that from being from Compton? 
something. Yeah, yeah, I did get a flashback. I was like, oh, you know, protocol, you know, hide the colors, and <laughs> you don't want me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta pray subservient to a gang. I chose Bloods this time. Do you ever, you ever, have you ever run into, are you still in Compton? Uh, no, I'm in uh, Koreatown now, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Out the hood into another hood, yeah. you know. Living on up. Yeah. <laughs> You went from crypt to hip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you went from. I feel like there's a lateral move. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Korean sounds yeah, like. You can just tell that guy behind you that said, yeah, but has no fucking idea what he's doing. Tell by the way he said it. Korean towns were people who move to LA. They either end up in Koreatown or Hollywood. How long Two have you lived in LA? Shit neighborhood. Yeah, with the hat. Me? Yeah. 27 years. Oh, okay, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Um, back, back to the show, everybody. Back to the show. Uh, hey, settle down. You don't have a microphone, sir. But thank you. Somebody tell that second base umpire to keep it quiet. Son of a bitch. Questions are over. Uh, Ify, I had so much fun with you. Nice to meet you. Ify Nawawa. Follow him on Twitter at Ify's Not Funny. I-F-Y-S Not Funny. I-F-Y-S Not Funny. All one word. He's, I can totally tell, like, that's one of those guys that, like, is gonna be a star. It's incredible. Josh, I'll take a drink, too. Yeah. Anyway. One more for me, too. I worked fucking 13 hours today. Wow. Whoa, oh, somebody's about to drop, uh, what, what were you doing for 13 hours? Working you... on Eric Andre's show. I was Peppercorn Bing Bong. I got in a horse costume. I fucking danced around. <laughs> I remember when the show used to be over here. You would say an occasional. Hey, thing. sorry. Get a more less compelling personality in this chair. <laughs> it really is. What's happening? He's a one-man band. The, la the last couple weeks, his confidence has grown through yeah. the roof. Uh, <laughs> Thirteen-hour day today. Eric Andre's show. Getting yeah. naked. Oh, yeah. That's when you know it's all happening. Are you a little fuckboy on that show? What are you? They make you dress I, I, up naked in horse outfits and stuff? No, I was like, I, a look at your butt and stuff? I've been, I've been, on, I've been, I've been featured on the show like the whole time. I've been naked doing a lot, shit. right? And I get naked. They have a bit called uh, Naked Pat where I get oiled up while they're doing an interview. Yeah. I get in the guest island and I go and take their lunch order naked. Can you, you always do me a favor on this show? Yeah. Stay clothed. Yeah, I'm begging you. Yeah. No problem. Probably the oiled up white guy that they all get to look at your butthole and stuff. No, Adult Swim, they have to censor that out, right? What? Yeah, they censor that, but like Eric does shit, like he'll like hop on a desk and like try to take a shit. He drank his own pee two days ago. <laughs> wow. They're gonna have to censor that, I'll tell you that. They are? Yeah, they're gonna have to censor, Why? yeah, Tony, they're gonna have to Why? censor Eric drinking his own pee. Fear Factor NBC had women drinking horse cum. <laughs> Google it. Dom, you've seen that. Did you ever see the Fear Factor where the girls drank the horse cum? No, I can't watch that eat and eye bullshit. I love Joe, but I couldn't watch it. Right. Fucked up. That's why they canceled Fear Factors that episode, by the way. Really? Yeah. Wow. They said nay, huh? What, yeah. What kind of <laughs> <laughs> Guys. That's called a punchline. <laughs> Let's keep the show moving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your next comedian, Yadoy Travis. Yeah! Wow. Clearly a crowd favorite. Uh, hey, everybody. A uh, couple little fact about me. A couple weeks ago, I had a panic attack. Thought about killing myself. I was on a rooftop by a pool. Thought about jumping right off. Uh, and then I thought about it. I realized I could never kill myself because uh, I know all my moves, you know? Be a real even fight, is what I'm saying. <laughs> You know what I mean? Be like, yeah, block, get out of here with that weak shit, you know? I'm trained in the same gym, I'm the same dude. What are you doing? I stay up late at night watching tapes of myself trying to find holes in my defense and I can never do it, you know? I just never do it. Uh, I'm sort of done with white people uh, thinking that the weirdest shit makes them not racist. I met a girl a while ago who was in a class on Southern Lit that I was in. And she was from Portland or something like that. She said the words with her own mouth. She goes, I can't be racist. I've never even seen a black person. What? <laughs> it's not about opportunity, man. It's not like, I can't be racist. I haven't had a chance to prove myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Where are you from, Yoey? Atlanta. Atlanta. How long are you in town for? Uh, I moved here a year ago. Talking to the mic. Sorry. Oh, you've been here a year? Yeah. yeah. Nice. How long did you do stand-up in Atlanta? Uh, two years and then a year here. Punchline? Sorry? Punchline Atlanta? Oh, I don't like it. So you're a Republican, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, um, I bounce back and forth. Yeah. Like you ever do a Keys Night? Keys Night? Or is when they, I've been heard about a room in Atlanta where you go up and if the audience doesn't like you, they shake keys. Oh, that's it. Up town. I did, uh, I would do the Thursday mic, but that was on Sunday. So never Keys Night. You ever do Eleven Skull? Yeah. Yeah, I featured there last time I was in there. Me too. Oh, yeah. I'm doing that in November. Actually, my friend... Want to meet in the middle of the week? (laughs) (laughs) My friend Austin, Dom, actually, I think, hosted for you when you were at the Improv. Austin? Yeah, it was a couple years ago. I I think you were headlining. Or your friend Austin. Oh, my friend Austin. My friend friend Austin, Austin. not Austin. Yeah. Willie, can you be the uh, light-skinned middleman in this (laughs) 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 conversation? You know, uh, it's like the it's like the picture of like Cro Magnum Man. That we oh, stand that's up. what we would call yeah. the evolution yeah. and then, chart. Uh, skin tone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Willie? Really. Yeah, exactly. It's like a uh, before and after for skin bleach as we go from left to right. Man. Yeah. Hey. What is that? What, what, what is that? That's not where that sound effect would play, Brian. Uh, I think you have I think you have that completely confused with a, a good moment of a show. Uh, so you only been out here for a year. The culture's different, right? Do you, uh, do you know anyone out here, or you just came out here by yourself? Oh, I was just all alone. Wow. You know? Yeah. You got a girlfriend. Bullshit. I call bullshit. You got a girlfriend. Uh-huh. I met her. I Whoa. I didn't Whoa, when I moved here. Whoa. 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 Where'd you meet her? Just at? threw him under oh, the back of the Panera bus. Bread. <laughs> Yeah. Two people. Okay, oh, good. good. What happened there? What, what happened, audience? Is everybody okay? Something get weird? Austin. What the fuck happened? Your <laughs> friend's name was Austin or was it Austin? Texas? <laughs> <laughs> gotta get to the bottom of this. It was Austin in Austin, Texas. In, oh, no. no was, his name's Austin Chardack. How long have you had a girlfriend know. for? Uh, eight months? Wow, so you met her out here? In college. I went back for Christmas and then we... What college? Emory University. And then you met her there and you brought her to LA? Very briefly. She's now in Scotland for a year. Whoa. Damn, Whoa. that's smart. Oh, yeah. How's <laughs> <laughs> it smart, really? Cause there, Willie. <laughs> you know, guys, I don't know if we have enough time for me to get into this. Well, you know, it's a new relationship. It's going to get rocky. She's going to be mad at you because you're spending a lot of time with stand-up. So she thought, you know, I'm going to go to Scotland and just see some things. And then you're like, cool. She's getting her master's. Yeah. She's see, she's working things. over there. Yeah. What's she getting it in? Neurobi- uh, neuroscience. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Little little smarter smarty than me. pants. Smarter than me. Holy shit. What did you, you major in? What? What did you major in? Psychology. So uh, neuroscience for lazy people. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What are you doing Friday? I'd like to have you on the Death Squad show at the Ice House. Ben. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, cool. Yeah, there you go. How many dicks did you suck to get that? <laughs> 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 Grab. Learned something here tonight. It's all about sucking those dicks. It takes 11 dicks down the gullet to get a spot at the Ice House on a Friday night. Yeah. Um, you do it. So fun. You, another person, I mean, I feel like we've seen a lot tonight, like tons of likability. Likeable people. people. It's, it's yeah. incredible. Because, like, I think about, I think back to a couple weeks back, and we had some real fucking shitheads on the show. Oh, yeah. I was here last week. I'm just trying not to be another John Johnson or whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah. know, he's not a bad guy. I believe it. But. He killed himself after that episode. <laughs> yeah. John Johnson did. It was rough. So, Pat, how long have you been hosting the show? <laughs> <laughs> Taking your power, I'm telling you, Tony. <laughs> uh, so, there you go. I almost called you Iffy in a waterway. Um, it's Yadoy Travis, everybody. There you go. So nice to meet you, Yadoy. He's on Twitter, Professor Doy. So Doye, B O Y E. Doye. Okay, sure. You don't have to be an uppity asshole about it. Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. Just because your girlfriend went to Scotland, you don't have to act French. I have nothing. 
But you do have a spot at the ice house on Friday. Yeah. However, however, turns out exchange rate, two more dicks you have to suck. That was, uh, hey, I'm good. Um, okay, let's keep up and all. Well, maybe we should. No, we still want more. No, we yeah. can't. No. Yeah. If we can, I'll... If, if, it's if already we, pulled, Tony. If we have... Okay, we have to do an extra short one with Logan Gunselman. <laughs> Okay, I have a question. Um, do you guys think that this would be a good slogan for Coinstar? You guys know what Coinstar is? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it'd be good if it was Coinstar, be poor loudly? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm, I'm pretty poor. Is that relatable for any of you? <laughs> no, is that? Okay, uh, can I ask, uh, ladies, is this relatable? Ladies, are you ever, ladies, are you ever really vibing with a guy and he goes to charge his phone and he's having like a really hard time plugging his charger into his phone and you realize that you don't want to fuck him anymore? Uh, I don't want to go over because you said short. Sure, okay. I mean, that's the, by the way, that's the epitome of like what I was talking about when you tell people to take their time. You're so fun to listen to. Thank you. Awesome. Easy to listen. Great jokes. Yeah, so fun. Thanks. I just want to give a special shout out. We have a uh, one of my favorite people from the hit show on NBC, Undateable, going back for season two. It's Rick Glassman is here, yeah. everybody. Oh. NBC, Rick Undateable, NBC Carmichael show. Yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to the NBC Peacock sitting in the back left corner over there. We have the whole, we have the whole family. I always find the Peacock jokes to be funnier than everybody else. I always try to squeeze them in. Rick, how's it going over there? Good. Season three. Season three. I, I had a feeling when I was saying I knew something. And it's all right. True Detective. Um, yeah, the third. True Detective, season three. No, I'm dateable. <laughs> but but season three, the whole thing's live. That, like like you said, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Rick, can you tell us about uh, Crystalia and what's he like? And <laughs> yeah. Brent Warren, the guys that are really talented. Would tell us. <laughs> yeah. Are you being? Yeah. Uh, Brent has been friends with for a long time. He's super funny. Uh, Chris is. Chris, you know, he's... Stop it, I love you so much. <laughs> Rick Glassman is here, everybody. One of the best. How, how much, uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Two years. Two years. And how long would you say you have a set? Like, how, what's your um, main... Uh, I could do, like, 20. Really? Yeah. I'd like to see you at the Ice House Friday. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, Ice House Fuck all the Ice House Fuck all the one thing. Feel the anger in the back of the room of comedians that were on before these two, and the ones especially that never got picked out of the bucket at all. Yeah. I mean, just furious, lovely anger. I actually feed off of it. <laughs> anyway, Logan, that's so interesting. I feel like you're one of the people that I've seen around here a lot for a couple years, but I've never seen on stage. So this is it's always it's always a different, like, interesting thing. I feel like I normally see people before everybody else does. Or with you, I feel like I've seen you hanging out here a lot. You've yeah. been, I feel like you've been going hard for two years, right? Like lots of spots? Yeah, yeah, I've been trying to. So I've seen, I feel like I have made eye contact with you like awkwardly and I've been like, oh, I can't talk, I'm gonna keep walking. Weird. <laughs> Somebody just fall underwater? <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> I didn't know that they added a shallow end to the belly room. Very interesting. The noises that come out of this room sometimes. Uh, where did where'd that thing go? Oh yeah. Logan, I like the cut of your jib. I like the V of your neck. I like the waist of your pants. I like the strap of your sandals. Wow. Whoa. Somebody's gonna write a song about Logan eventually. If you can find a word to rhyme with sandals. You're gonna have it. Um, so Logan, what else? What else do you do? Uh, I have a day job. I work at an auction house. So that's... Wow, are you the auctioneer? No, I'm not. Everybody Everyone always asks that. Right. No, I just of course, write. I'm a hack. Thank you. No, it's not. Awesome. <laughs> well, someone had to tell you. No. Logan, I'm sorry. We have to do an extra short thing with you. So that's your time. Logan Gunselman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, she's very funny. It's time to get to the part of the show where our two regulars go on. It's always my favorite part of the show. We have two people that write and perform a brand new minute every single week. Uh, and recently, we just switched out for two new regulars, and the other old two regulars now go up in the original room on this night, do a longer set, and now we have two new ones anyway. 15, so 15 that, like, by the way, is the answer. If you wondered how many dicks they had to so. suck. Yeah. <laughs> 15, which seems like a low number until you just know that 15 is the amount of dicks. Undisclosed how many times you have to suck those 15 uh, dicks. That's the, that's the important part. <laughs> Don't you have a song about that? <laughs> no, dude, I write songs about my real life. And without further ado, I'm going to bring up your first regular, uh, doing a brand new 60 seconds. You know her from Kill Tony, everybody, as one of the newest regulars. Put your hands together for Melissa Esslinger, everyone. <laughs> So it turns out that like people don't always mean what they say when they tell you things. Um, I was house sitting recently and she said I could wear anything that I wanted. I stopped at the underwear drawer. It's all right, but I had her clothes laundered and when I brought them back, she was like, you really like to indulge in your crazy, don't you? Well, you told me I could, all right. Um, people tell me that like I should be just myself and um, and it's hard because you have to like know who that is to be able to do that. And uh, when you don't really know who that is, then you know you get swayed around really easy, and all of a sudden you're like playing Dungeons and Dragons on a Labor Day Monday. Um, um, I'm sorry, that's it. Oh my God! How dare you close with an apology, well, Melissa Esslinger, everybody. It's one of the hardest things in the world. It takes a gigantic set of balls to uh, even try it. What did you talk about? Um, I was trying to, uh, about people not meaning what they say. They don't like oh, people. Yeah. Don't people can, are fake. I can immediately tell you that what happened there is we don't know what you were talking about. Oh, okay. you, you said underwear. What were you? Or what are you saying? Oh, that you I said I had underwear. house sat recently. And she said I could wear anything. Wear any of her clothes. Right. Yeah. See, I was thinking you were talking about your clothes, and I was so confused, I didn't get the joke. Oh. You, you, you need to really explain that, because not many times you house sit and go, oh, you could wear any of my clothes, by the way. You don't have to, like, bring clothes. You can just right. go through okay. my drawers. No one does well, that. It's girl stuff, clearly, Brian. I don't think guys are going to say, hey, that? you can wear any of my clothes. Yeah, but did you get that? I didn't get that. I so. sort of no, thought that maybe that's what y you were saying, but it definitely has to be more clear. Okay. And then what you do, if you, if, you, if she did say, you can w try on any of my clothes and wear any of my clothes that you want, you went for the underwear. No, I said don't worry, I stopped at the underwear. Oh. Um, but that would be better. Did this really happen? Did you try on clothes for somebody that you were house-sitting for? No. Oh, wait a second. I don't know if I believe she that. She said I could. I wore a few t-shirts. Well, let's talk about for it. For a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's the good stuff right there. She said that I could. Yeah. And um, apparently she was just being nice. She wasn't actually... Because I ran out of clean clothes. And, uh... Oh, <laughs> happens. Did you at least wash her clothes? Yeah, I even had them professionally washed. I paid money that I don't have. Uh, well, <laughs> I would have saved money if I just done my laundry, but... Were the panties real soiled? I did not. I did not actually. <laughs> Great I didn't. question. I, I went commando instead of going for her oh. underwear. You went naked in her pants? <laughs> no. Wow. Just <laughs> lip to denim. <laughs> I said shirts. <laughs> And uh, what was the other thing? What did you talk about after the, we say, after the we close? Say, uh, close being to your dash. Okay, Pat. Settle down over there. <laughs> Melissa, what'd you talk about after the close? Uh, being yourself and not knowing. I'm, you know, I'm still right. figuring that out. Right. That was more like just a real statement than a joke. Mm -hmm. And what, what came after that? Um, oh, I, the playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah. Did and you, you play Dungeons you and Dragons? Maybe. Yeah. I did. You have to be able to <laughs> commit one way or another. Yeah. Yes, I did. I did. I did. That Today? Did. did you yes. play that? Really? It was two weeks in preparation, too. Yeah. It, uh, your Dungeons and Dragons hangout was planned for two weeks? Yeah. Wow. I just kind of jumped on the bus, like, all right, cool. 
The Dungeons and Dragons so bus? Where up. does that go through? <laughs> I don't understand. So be- random people meet up in a building and... It's kind of like playing poker, but you don't have sex with women. <laughs> How many girls are at these things? I'm the only one. <laughs> this is the stuff that you have to talk about, that you have to delve into. It's, you know, instead of doing three different jokes about three different things, you know, talk about playing Dungeons and Dragons and talk about why you wanted to wear clothes and that you run out of laundry no matter how hard you try. And, you know, you got to delve in and really break it down to find the meat it's, yeah. it, because playing it on the surface isn't always going to be, you know, right there. So did I, like every single one of those guys give you their uh, phone number or FTP address or anything like that? It's a joke for you hackers in the audience. Uh, <laughs> Melissa, we're going to roll on. All Thank right, you great. so much. Yeah. Melissa Esplan, follow her on Twitter. Melissa Esplan. We have one other regular. Your final comedian of the night is also one of the newest two regulars here, and she is 19 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, Allie McCoskey. Thanks. 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 Uh, when I was in the third grade, I had a hernia, uh, which is pretty crazy. I had to get surgery for my hernia, and... Uh, it was in an uncomfortable area for a third grader, you know, it was like da- down here, and uh, my mom was concerned, you know, she was like, hey doctor, is that scar going to be visible forever? And the doctor was like, well, once your daughter gets pubes, no one's going to see the scar. <laughs> like, first of all, why is my doctor saying pubes like he's just the chillest dude ever? <laughs> and second of all, why is he just assuming that I'm going to go full bush? <laughs> my pubes come in, I'm like, leave them, they're mine now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I saw some people down the street and I was about to judge them for no reason, you know. And then I stopped myself because I'm a good person. And I was like, Allie, don't judge them. You're better than that. And you're better than them. Those people are idiots. Thank you. Like a couple hours. Let's talk about really? your birthday's coming up. Yeah. Your birthday's at midnight? Well, let's get it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just think we'll be able to celebrate one more year of you not being allowed at this club that you're performing in right now. I'm about to start bringing like chairs to sit on the sidewalk itself. It's Sounds okay. like a plan. Yeah, I think you can do something with that. Yeah. Do you want to hang out later? Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. Maybe a nice place. How was that? She said she's busy. No. I'd just like to give you a bath. No. <laughs> After the first hours. <laughs> wow, I think she wants you to pee on her. Dad. Not, not golden. Not golden showers. Uh, Allie, so fucking fun. Uh, last week we called your mom. Hey, you know what? I want to ask you this. This is what, episode three, four for you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Three, four, four, five, three. something like that. Mm-hmm. Are you still doing minutes that you've stockpiled, or are you starting to write I wrote. Minutes? I wrote two new jokes today that I was going to do, and then I heard Dom was going to be here, and I didn't want to like do something stupid. And so then I was like, let's just do a classic, and then do try these And new now look ones. how good you did. He wants to give you a fucking bath. <laughs> but he doesn't want me to open for him, so... <laughs> I love it. That's how you get the spots. I do want you to open for me. Not your, I'm not going to open anything. That's... Oh. In the courtyard at the Marriott. Why do you got to be such a pig? I'm talking about on the road. Okay. Come with me on the road for a year or two. Right. <laughs> a trip around the world. You get your fake ID. We'll have fun. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm older than you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I swear you look that. awful. <laughs> it's my skin. It's moist. Guys, we did it. That's Allie Makovsky. Follow her on Twitter. <laughs> Allie Makovsky. We did it again. Pat Reagan is Patty Reagan. Let's check in with Ryan J. Ebel with tonight's yeah. super drawing that took place during this episode. Boom. Look at that. Magic. You see it. You know it. Oh wow, that's me. Big one to me. That looks like you, Tom. It's <laughs> so funny to see Tom drawing something. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Dom just said that he forgets what he looks like until he looks at a mirror. I never forget what you look like, Dom. You're our favorite face on the show. He scores you yeah. one more time before Monday Night Football season. We lose Dom for half the year as an eligible guest, so I suppose him in three That's times really in the past game. month. This yeah. is a bad game. Cool. Thanks, everybody. Great crowd. The great Willie Hunter. Watch the Carmichael Show every Wednesday, 9 p.m. NBC. Watch Undateable with our friends Rick Lassman, Chris Leah, Brent Moore, and Ron Punches. And uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, live audience. Have a great night. Thank you.